ChatGPT just rolled out interactive charts and interactive graphs, interactive tables, and this is going to take data analytics to a whole new level. I just made a video showing all the new improvements that data analytics had, and I was missing this interactive chart. Let me show you the power of it here inside of ChatGPT. And these new interactive charts are being powered by GPT-40, but they're only available to paid versions of ChatGPT, GPT Plus, Team, and Enterprise Plan. So if you have one of these, you should have it, but it is rolling out a little bit slowly. They introduced this a few days ago. I just got access to it today. So if you don't have it, you still have to wait. There's no way to force these updates. ChatGPT just rolls these out gradually. And you have two ways to use it. You could use it here with ChatGPT 4.0. Make sure this is selected. And down here, if you press the paper clip icon, this new update also came with connected apps. So you could pull in Excel documents directly from your Microsoft OneDrive accounts, or you could connect your Google Drive and bring in Google Sheets. And I've done both. And then you could also still upload any document from your computer to analyze just from here. And another option you have is this data analysis actually has a custom GPT that OpenAI and ChatGPT have made. So I like this one sometimes better because this custom GPT is designed just for this very specific use case. So if you use it in the regular ChatGPT, you don't get the results you're looking for. Sometimes this may give you better results test it for yourself, but I'll link this below as well. And I'm going to upload this 100 page PDF. This is NVIDIA's annual report document here. This is a public filing. So I just found this on the NVIDIA website. And now I'm going to ask for any PNL that is included in this document to see what it comes up with. And if for some reason it gives you a regular table like this, you could ask for an interactive table. And then you should get a table that has these icons right over here. And if you press expand table right over here, here's the useful parts about these interactive tables. So you could actually interact with them and actually change the view. But what I really like about them is you could select different columns or select different rows and ask very specific questions about those columns and rows. So in row five, research and development. So you could ask for a trend and look at that. It just created a graph for me. And in text format here is giving me exactly what's going on. But look at what's happening underneath. This is brand new. It's going to give you some ideas for a follow up prompt. OK, so examine revenue growth drivers. I could click on that and that's my prompt. It usually gives you a couple of different suggestions to keep the conversation going to dive deeper into your own data. Now, let me ask for a pie chart. So this could actually design a very interactive pie chart, too. And here's the pie chart and each section I could hover over to see exactly what's going on in each section. And if you go up here, if you want to see the old static chart that it used to make, this is what it's going to look like. You could always bring it back with this and it will show you that little cool animation. You could always press download the chart and it actually downloads the exact view that you're looking at here. And if you want, you could go ahead and actually change the colors too. So data center, let's say I want data center to be a different color. Let's make it red. OK, so you could actually change this in real time and then download the PNG with that new color. And I just created a one year revenue comparison. So in 2024, you could see NVIDIA, that's 60 billion dollars relative to 26 billion dollars the previous couple of years. And it's giving me a very good prompt. What caused the surge in 2024? Obviously, AI caused the surge, so increase demand for AI and compute. OK, very nice. And again, with all these, these are completely editable here. You could go ahead and change the color. And here in the table, you could also select a column like this. And I'm going to ask it to just combine all expenses. And it created a brand new table over here. And I'm going to ask for a bar graph. So with pie charts, these bar graphs, a lot of the different visual presentation now have that interactive element to them, too. But just interacting with this table in real time using AI with suggested prompts that it's going to give you. Very, very useful. And here's the new bar graph we got over here. And let me show you this example here. So I just looked up NVIDIA stock here and I'm going to take a screenshot just from Google right over here. And it's going to be the last five years of stock. And I'm going to upload that image. It's going to analyze that image and it's going to make me an interactive graph. So I'm going to say create a graph showing the stock price over time just using the screenshot I just took. And there we have it. We have the same exact kind of function. We could go ahead and expand it. We could actually go ahead and interact with this again just by typing in a prompt over here. And as you can see, it's going to give me some suggestions here. 
compare NVIDIA to AMD stock performance, NVIDIA price by month. And I'm gonna use this prompt just kind of for fun, but this will try to predict future price of the stock. Okay, and this prompt book, by the way, I covered it in the last video. It's a prompt book to help you analyze different data sets, not just financial data sets. I'm gonna use it here for financial data too. It has some things. These are all related to data analysis. As long as you use that, this should be helpful. I'll link this below. But I did mention it in the last video where we really dove into data analysis. And this time I asked him for an interactive graphic and he actually gave me a download link to one. Okay, and here's the chart. So let's see, it looks like it thinks it's gonna keep going up all the way till 2026. And then it's gonna crash and go all the way down in 2028, it's gonna hit the low. Okay, well, let's see how this ages. I'm obviously not gonna buy stock based on this kind of projection, but I just kind of wanted to show you a fun prompt here and what it's capable of. And if you haven't watched the other video about the new data analysis, I'll link that here as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.